as we sit here now, um, which is a few days before airtime, uh, the Lee Marvin case, as it's called, has just been decided. Uh, do you see that as a significant woman's issue? No. In any way? No, I don't. Not that particular one, mm -hmm. and I have my own just private opinions, which I'm not going to air at this time about that. Yeah. Uh, I feel I personally about the whole, okay, I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> personally, I think uh, you ought to get something in writing. Precisely. Mm -hmm. It's either a contract or it isn't. Or it isn't. Yeah, I mean, it's as, it seems to me it's almost as if you worked for Macy's for three months voluntarily, or five years, or six years, Whatever. and then quit, and then said, where's my pension? Right, yeah. Uh, now, of course, we'll get a lot of nasty mail, and I'll hear from Waco, Texas on this, I'm sure. But uh, All of Waco watches? No, there's my, my, one, ah, my yes. one fan yeah, down there. Right, right. Uh, but I, I thought, because of your w by now well-known interest in ERA, and the fact that it's led you to even do things like you almost didn't accept the job in Florida because they hadn't ratified ERA. At least I read that. No, I, <laughs> I accepted the job because uh, I wanted to work with Robert Altman again. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was a good time to go to Florida also because uh, it was coming up for ratification. It didn't make it, unfortunately, because people confuse it with other issues. Yeah. And. Uh, but in this uh, change in you that I was uh, harping on maybe too much last night, uh, one, of the, one of the signs of it is that the fact that you have been uh, speaking out, as they say, you've campaigned mm -hmm. literally for yes, I have. Uh, things you believe in. And so well, uh, I'm still not a political person. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel ERA is a moral issue. It has mm -hmm. become a political issue, naturally, you know, uh, because people get elected or not elected or they get money or they don't. And that's unfortunate with it when in America equality all of a sudden is a dirty word. I can't understand it. Have you ever wished you were a man? No. I don't mean in the um, in some perverted sense, but obviously what I mean is... No, I wish I, I had had more moxie <coughs> to speak up and take machine shop at Hollywood High, but that was uh, not allowed, uh, the girls weren't allowed to do that. Then I'll admit that I wish I'd taken take home a, economics. Exactly, and, uh, why not? And a couple, of, uh, one guy on the football team did, and then suddenly that it was okay. Sure. If yeah. a guy on the debate team had, it still oh. would have been mm -hmm. suspect. Debatable. We, obviously, because anyone who's debatable, yeah. Because uh, if you're a jock, then you're a man, right? I don't know. I know a lot of uh, men who aren't jocks, who are men. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about? I was hoping you could tell us. I wonder if that attitude still prevails, though, when you were in high school. Oh, no, I I'm think sure it's it getting a whole anymore. lot better. Today I went to a, a, a meeting um, of young college students uh, in Georgetown, and uh, a whole new movement is coming uh, out with the college kids uh, who are for the Equal Rights Amendment, and I think mm -hmm. that's where uh, uh, it will win. It, it is with our youth, it is uh, for our youth that we are doing this. Yeah. I'm fine. Listen, I can go in, I can get a bank loan, I can uh, do things, I can sue under the 14th Amendment because I can pay a lawyer. People, yeah. Most people can't, and that's unfortunate and it's unfair. I just wondered if there are significant points in your career where you thought, damn it, if I were a man, they wouldn't treat me this way, or they wouldn't do this or that. Only if I when, were uh, well, a comedian yeah. and not a comedian. When uh, I was uh, an usherette at Warner Brothers Theater when I was in high school, um, mm -hmm. I got 65 cents an hour, and the ushers got 75. I didn't just wish I was a man, I just wish I had the extra dime. Yeah, and had you been one, you would have. Right. Nothing, even if though you might have been a worse or better. Had nothing to do with it, no. I sure at. Mm hmm Yeah. Y you live in, in California, and um, uh, word keeps drifting my way of uh, the drug scene out there in the movie colony, and so drifting my way, everybody knows about it. But uh, again, without asking you to uh, name people, is it not true that a number of careers at this point are in some jeopardy from too much uh, I have heard nose that. candy. I have heard that. Uh, no one, to my knowledge, who is a friend of mine, mm -hmm. uh, is on that trip, mm -hmm. uh, who is in show business, because uh, we just don't hang around that group. Uh, Does that mean that if you found that someone you think is a friend now were, they would be off your list or not welcome at the Hamilton home? Well, they could be welcome at the home if they just didn't bring their, what'd you call it? Their proboscis praline. Nose candy with them? Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't want it in my home. Yeah. No, uh, and uh, I just feel sorry for them. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, that's their problem, that's their road, and that's what they're going to have to face. They either have to stop it or they die. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. And it ain't worth it. I haven't heard you talk much um, on or off camera about uh, oh, that dismal old phrase, the generation gap. But uh, you can imagine if you or I had said, I'm having a date of the opposite sex over for a sleepover and we're going to share the same bedroom, uh, what probably would have happened at the dinner table. And yet this is, this happens today. Some parents condone it, some don't. don't you read some Dear don't. Abby? I love Dear Abby. Yes, well that was, there was a, she had a couple of letters about that and I think she's got the best answer and so does Ann Landers say the same thing. Uh, if it's in my home, you just don't do it. They're separate rooms. It's, it's my home, it's my rules. Yeah. You can't control what's going to go on outside of the home, but it's mm -hmm. a, this is my house and we just don't have sleepovers like that, that's yeah. all. Or like any. <laughs> you, and I, you and I got uh, are about the same age, and I'm sure both of us got our ideas of love and romance, our earliest ones, from the movies. Yes. You were addicted to movies. Yes. I didn't get to go to as many as you did. Yeah. You, uh, this is public yep. knowledge now, but you talked about your parents being alcoholic. You, you spent a great deal of time away from the house and in the movies. And um, I often wondered if not only did that give you a tremendous stockpile of mannerisms, things to parody that you could cash in on, uh, you, know, in later, you know what I mean, in later years, and um, tremendous knowledge of various styles and all that stuff. But uh, is there any sense in which you're aware of having gotten this, the, uh, the distorted idea of love and romance and violins and falling in love and being swept off your no, feet and all of that? No, because there was such movies. a reality for me in high school and junior high that that just kept a nice even balance because uh, I was not what one would consider uh, the most popular girl, the most sought after at all. Mm -hmm. And so that balance was there. And then I had my little fantasies up here of uh, your Cary Grants and your Jimmy Stewart's and people like that. This saved my life, I think, uh, going to the movies and fantasizing and and uh, playing them out in my mind. Uh, but I did know that this still existed. There, but it, it all balanced and out. When a boy first kissed you, the fact that violin music No one has in, yet. I haven't had well, that yet. Whenever it happens, yes. will you be? I certainly <laughs> you will, and I'll and call you. Yes. Tell me about it. Yes. I'd like that. Uh huh. What's your number? Um, it's listed. It is? Good. No. I'm sure is. that's uh, on purpose. Can you conceive of you and me being married to each other? No. <laughs> hmm. Go on. I think that subject's closed. Because in some sense it might, uh, the fact that we're happily married, of course, is perhaps lucky in this case, but uh, we have some similar backgrounds. We do? Well, you said you weren't a social swinger in high school, nor was I. You, you were? You the, no, I was popular in the... Uh, well, see, there, our backgrounds are totally different Well, right in the away. sense that I was elected to things, but I didn't... I was never... Well, what'd you do? Pay him off? I mean, what do you mean? No, you had I, to be popular to be elected. Because I would make a funny speech in the assembly. Ah. But I still didn't get invited by any of the neat girls. Uh -huh. Remember that expression? Uh -huh. uh, to the prom, for Well, example. the girls aren't supposed to, weren't supposed to invite the boys to the prom. Maybe that might have something to do with it. <laughs> the witness told yeah, me that yeah, from that right, day Right, you myth. see, if you just asked, you no, might have to there were one or two where they did. Uh-huh. How'd and, it go? Uh, it was all right. I, you yeah. know, I, Tom and I had a nice time. Yeah. Do you dip? <laughs> no, well, now that's quite a personal question, and I don't <laughs> really think I ought to be subjected to what this. What are you drinking? Do, uh, that, that's um, Coke in the old sense. Looks like prune juice. Well, I have a confession to make. Never no, mind. Go ahead. Why? 